What's going on, Browns Home Remodeling? My name's Kyle. I just wanted to reach out and make you a video that can bring you and your business some value. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can personally optimize your website to where you can drive in traffic and generate leads for your business. So I have three tips I want to share with you today. My first tip is the importance of content and keywords. So Google doesn't care about how awesome websites look. They care about what kind of content's on the page. And they, they want to see a lot of content. And the websites that have the most content are going to be the ones that have the most authority on that topic. So I recommend that you have at least 1,500 words of content on your home page. And the most important reason that you have that much content on the home page is because you need to have buyer intent keywords inside your content. So when Google goes and crawls your website, they can find these keywords and they can rank you accordingly in the Google search engine. This tool here is called AREFS. It is a paid tool and it buys data from Google. And one of the features is it allows us to search for these buyer intent keywords. So I just looked up remodeling Nashville. These are just some examples that if you put inside your content, when a person goes to Google and searches for this term, they can potentially find your website. So you have kitchen remodeling Nashville, that's being searched 150 times a month. You have home remodeling Nashville, that's being searched 100 times a month. You have remodeling companies Nashville. You have uh, bathroom remodeling companies Nashville. So there's, there's all sorts of buyer intent keywords that you can be found for to put inside your content. You can find keywords for all your services that, that, you, that you provide and all your service areas as well. Now my second, my second tip for you is backlinks, and backlinks are just as important. It's what gives your website power, and it's what pushes your website to the top of the organic section. And backlinks are links throughout the web that, when clicked on, will bring the user back to your website. It's almost like having a popularity contest, and the person with the most backlinks wins. However, Google wants to see quality backlinks. They want to see backlinks that are relevant to you. So they want to see backlinks coming from other remodeling websites or home improvement websites that have links linking people back to your website. Now Aris also lets us see what's going on behind the scenes of websites and I do want to mention that there are free tools for for backlinks and keyword research so if you just google backlink checker or keyword finder you can find all the free tools that you need. So right now this is your website Brown's Home Remodel. You have a URL rating of no data, that's how powerful the site is. A domain rating of zero, that's how trustworthy the site is. Uh, zero organic traffic each month. You're being found for only four keywords. And you have zero referring domains, giving you a total of zero backlinks. These backlinks here is what gives your website your power and it gives your website your trust. And you want these two numbers to be as high as possible and as close together as possible as well. You want to shoot for a ratio of one. Now I just pulled up the Google search bar and I, and I looked up kitchen remodeling in Nashville. And this is Stratton Exteriors. This is a service page that's ranked in the, in the number one organic spot. And as you can see, they have buyer intent keywords of kitchen remodel Nashville. And you have Nashville kitchen remodeling. And they're being found for these keywords and they're being ranked for it as well. So I looked up their numbers as a website as a whole. So they have a URL rating of 25, that's how powerful their site is. They have a domain rating of 17, that's how trustworthy their website is. They have over 1,200 people coming onto their website each month through an organic search. They're being found for 1,800 keywords. They have 919 referring domains, get them a total of 2,260 backlinks. These backlinks here are good enough to rank their website to the top. It's good enough to do the same for yours as well, as long as you have your content and keywords in place. And this is something you can do with all of your top competitors. You can take all your top competition's backlinks and you can get them linking back to you. So if you just go into the referring domains and each and every one of these websites here has a link linking people back to their website. And like I said, you can do the same thing with yours. You just go into each individual website. Some you just might have to create a profile and you can add your website that way. Others, you might have to go to the contact us, email the owner, and they might hit you back with a small fee to be able to advertise on their website. Now, my third tip for you is, is get to the number one spot in the Google Map Pack. That's this area here. It's one of the best spots to be in. 40% of the searches on Google click inside this Google Map Pack. 30% of the users click in the number one spot in the organic section. But how can you get to this top spot in the Google Map Pack? Well, you need more citations than your top competition has. 
And all the citation is is your business name, your business address, and your business phone number listed in directories throughout the web. Some examples of a directory be places like Yelp, White Pages, Yellow Pages, Better Business Bureau, even social media is considered a directory nowadays. So I hope this video was helpful for you today. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to reach out. And thank you for watching. Please have an awesome week.